For this project, we'll need breadboard, Node MCU board, again I2C based OLED display, few jumper wires. So let's do the connection. So let, let's mount Node MCU and display on the breadboard, and we'll do the connection as per given in the table. Uh, in this video, we will be using Rayx MQDT server. Please find the link for Rayx products in the description. Now let's see the coding part. But before code explanation, we will install the dependent libraries. Search for Arduino MQDT for MQDT library and install it. Now search for Adafruit SSD1306 and install this one as well. And again search for Adafruit JFX library and install this one also. Now let's see the code explanation. So now let's see the coding part. So in this video we will see the two demos. One is for publish and one is for subscribe. So for each demo we will need different code. Uh, but most of the code is same. So let's see the code for publish. So in the code here we have included the header files. This header file is used for the inputs basically. So if you see the Arduino secrets.h. This is the uh, Wi-Fi credentials and these are the MQTT details like here MQTT broker so in our case the broker will be iot.rex.com uh, here you have to mention the username here you have to mention the password and here you have to mention the ID this is the topic name we will be using so this will be the default port if you see the Arduino secrets in subscribe code so details will be the same this header file is used for the OLED display these are the instance for Wi-Fi client and MQTT client these micros are for the OLED display and this is the instance for OLED display so this is the image we will be displaying on boot up and this is the function which will send the data on OLED display in the setup function we here we are configuring the serial communication again here we are configuring and displaying the data on OLED display here we are configuring the Wi-Fi and here we are configuring the MQTT client if you see the loop function here we are continuously polling the MQTT client and we are publishing the data with MQTT topic which is mentioned here as a message. Here we are incrementing the count and we are publishing the count with this topic name and the same count will be displaying on OLED display. If you see the subscribe code most of the code is same. In the subscribe code we will have to add this line for subscription. So here will be subscribe to this topic which is mentioned here loop function will be totally different uh, so in the loop function we are continuously checking for the incoming data if there is a valid data then we are printing the data on serial terminal and the same data will be displaying on the OLED display so let's flash the code and let's see the demo one by one so these are the information you will get from Rex. so this is the username this is the password and this is the CLID now we'll configure the MQTT application so go to the setting and these are the information you have to fill in so you have to mention the UMQTT server port will be the default username and password now in the first demo we will publish the data from mobile application and we have subscribed the data on node MCU so let's uh, publish some data go to the publish tab of the mobile application mention the topic name message and click on publish button and as you can see the data is being reflected on the OLED display now we will send something uh, different I will send the string as a how are you and you can see that uh, string is getting updated on the OLED display in the second demo mobile will be the subscriber and node MC will publish the count add the topic name in the subscribe tab of the mobile application and open the dashboard to observe the incoming data and as you can see we are getting the count on mobile which is published by node MCU thank you for watching video please like comment share and subscribe to the channel for more videos